I am really starting to resent my boomer mother. Posted by that handsome Canadian. My sister and I are children of a single mother. Our father has never been in the picture and our mother never seek child support for us. I'd like to preface this by saying, my mother is our hero. She did it all by herself in a time that was hard for single women and provided a great life for us. She was a factory worker that worked on the line, starting at 18 years old, this summer out of high school. She bought a two-bedroom home in Toronto near the lakefront at 23 years old by herself, after five years of working at the factory. She retired at 48 years old, 30 years and with a full pension and her house paid off. She is 65 years old now and has not worked a day in 17 years. She is constantly telling my sister and our 30s that we need to buy a house and stop wasting money on rent. By the time I was your age, I already had 10 years of equity into the house. When pressed on maybe helping my sister and I buy a house, she states she does not have any means to help, which is true with no income. But she follows that up with I did not get any help when I bought my first home. Well, her first home was $77, zero, which was three weeks her annual income. I make till the $70, zero slash or and the average price of homes for a two bedroom in my area is $700, zero, tinks my annual income. The cheapest home for sale in 100 km radius is $613, zero for a townhouse with condo fees. Our mother looks at this and simply says, you have to do what you have to do, get a third job, start delivering for Uber Eats, and subscribe to Netflix. She always ends the discussion with, I see people younger than you moving into homes in this town, so you kids must be doing something wrong. Others are affording homes, why can not you? I try to tell her that most of those people are getting help from their parents through Hellock. My favorite line has been, what did you do four years of university for if your job cannot afford you a start at home? I work in a forensic lab and appear in court as an expert witness on major criminal s why I went to university for four years. The fact she does not understand that the world is so drastically different now than when she was my age is really starting to put a strain on our relationship. So what do you think? Share your opinions in the comments below. And now to the comments. How send days for 121 commented. They'd also forget that credit scores were introduced in 1989. Nomad L17 commented. My dad was like this before he went grocery shopping with my mom. He was shocked and now constantly asks her if there's enough to buy groceries. He had to buy a white shirt for a formal picture and he nearly fainted at the price. Apparently, back in the day he could have bought a custom tailored shirt for what he paid for the off rack. It is kind of a double-edged sword because he's going on and on about how the government is not doing anything to help citizens while enriching the chosen ones. My parents did have the expectations for home ownership, etc. But I'm thankful I have a lot of cousins. My parents had six siblings each, so we have at one point experienced the same thing. The only ones that have it easier are the ones that became a doctor plus became a specialist, or they did their masters. You can tell your mom that at least you are employable and independent. I was talking to one of my bosses and she was telling me how her son had so much difficulty in finding a job that was not a call centre, cannot move out because he does not make enough and is still relying on a monthly allowance from her. Did his fire likes to add? Boomer uncle's shitty girlfriend tried to go off about the current economy, which she does not understand, at a recent family event. I spent a lot of time explaining that she, a retired government worker with a federal pension in her late 60s, early 70s, literally has no frame of reference for what things are like now. I finally have health insurance, but no PTO or six slash vacation time at a full-time job in a literally life or death industry. I repeatedly acknowledged how essential her job was to the country running and how everyone should receive benefits from dedicating full-time hours to a career. And like this, woman is also anti-union. Lol, the lights are on, but no one but old, inaccurate propaganda is home. Kitchen Victory 7000 964 likes to add. Hair. Remind her, you'd easily be able to buy a house if boomers had not pulled the ladder up behind themselves as their lives improved, doing their level best to ensure wages stagnated and basic living would become unaffordable for their kids and grandkids. Strawberry Angel 34 likes to add. My butthole father was gifted his down payment by his own parents. My father would not pay my education and he certainly would not entertain giving me a down payment. But yay, I am the big fat failure to society for not owning a home by now. Dear listener, if you want to see more cute cats, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. 
I caught my husband watching corn while I was actively miscarrying our baby. Posted by Throat How is 1745 of Throw away can because friends on here know my username and did not know I was pregnant. Two years ago I got pregnant unexpectedly. After the initial shock wore off, I was excited and my husband was accepting of it. However, I knew something was not right. I did not feel symptoms like I did with my first baby. Sure enough, around the 8 week mark I started bleeding. My OB gave me some misoprostol and told me to stay in bed while it passed. The experience was very painful, not only physically, but also mentally. I spent most of the time in bed, crying on and off, napping occasionally and just waiting for it to be over. In that time I noticed that my husband stayed very uninvolved. He did not come to check on me. He did not lie there with me and comfort me. He just kept a distance. At some point, when it was almost over, I quietly exited our bedroom to get a glass of water. Our bedroom at the time faced our living room and when I came out he was sitting on the couch and quickly slammed his laptop shut. Immediately suspicious. I got my water and asked if I could use the laptop. He hesitated but handed it over. I took it to the bedroom where I found that for the bulk of the time I had been bleeding out our fetus, he had been watching corn and looking at nude photos of some Argentinian model. Ordinarily I would not care about corn. Corn is not a big deal to me. But while I was actively having a miscarriage, it just was not the time. Coupled with the fact that he never came to check on me. Again, this was two years ago and it still hurts. I tried so hard to let it go for the sake of our family, but I am afraid it will be one of those things that will always be a cloud over us. I do not think I am capable of letting it go. I've never told a soul about it out of embarrassment, and I feel like this is my first step in deciding if I can stay with him or not. I think I just wanted to get it off my chest. Thank you for listening. And now to the comments. A comment from Jen in Miami. I am so sorry for your loss and that experience as well. When I was in the ER being checked out. I did not know I was pregnant until I was miscarrying and did not know what was happening. My ex-husband ignored me and was playing Candy Crush on his phone. Notice I said ex-husband. Pay attention when people show you how little they care. Literal Cola likes to add. I just deleted a comment of mine because I feel like it gave away too much personal info. But I will tell you that I went through an almost identical situation, but with three miscarriages in a row. Somehow I did not leave right then, but I did eventually. If your gut is telling you to leave, do it. Final Blackberry commented. How someone treats you in your most vulnerable situation you will probably experience in your lifetime is how they truly feel about you. I am sorry you went through that. I experienced something similar and it was the loneliest I have ever felt in my life. You deserve better. Your husband lacks self-control. Moonglade Lady Bug likes to add. You had a lot of grace to have stayed with him. That night would have been the last time I ever acknowledged him again if it were me. My god, you deserve better. OP replied. Thank you. Yes, I feel like I've matured a lot in the past couple of years. I entered the marriage a very young, Naive girl, but I've grown a lot and realized sometimes suffering is not worth holding on to something just because you feel like it is what is expected of you. To the next post. Was told that I am too ugly and old to be gay. Posted by Quantifolian. I am just a normal mediocre looking guy. Nothing is special about me except that I am balding, already in my early 20s and I look super old than what my real age is. So I was using a dating app grinder when never match up with anyone. When I do, people either block me or ghost me after I share my face pic with them. Yesterday I was browsing through the app when I matched with a guy. He literally told, you, you are ugly and blocked me instantly. Another guy messaged, get off this platform, grandpa. This kind of incident happened several times with me, where people sometimes are mean and sometimes they are being humble and say that they are not interested in me. Another time a guy invited me to his live with his friends but he ended after I did my face reveal I do not know why. I am fine with rejections. I take them gracefully but it hurts when someone says something mean. When I posted my picture in social media it was told that I should stop looking for a relationship with that old face of mine. My style is too old and ugly. Now I really feel insecure about my body. I hate it because I am not anything like hot looking models from Instagram. I do not know where to start now. And now to the comments. A comment from Dubs and 14 in years. To hell with those trolls. I truly believe there is someone for everyone. 
May I make a suggestion? Have you thought about shaving your entire head? Do you think you would benefit from a makeover? OP answered. I have thought of it, but maybe I will look like a bum afterwards because I am a bit chubby. A comment from XHOX. I think you can be gay if you want to have sex with men. I do not think age and looks are involved in assessing gayness. Spinsby Rigsby likes to add. I do not want to seem like a stalker, but I looked at your Facebook and in my opinion you are an attractive man. I do not want to assume that some of these people could also be racist. Unfortunately, there's a lot of hate in the grinder world. OP replied. No, it is alright. I kept it there for a reason. I just wanted to connect with people if possible and EA, I do not judge. If you like the videos I make, do consider liking and subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I wish you a great day.